2008 and it's time to put in solar power. Well, I own my house, why not own my power? If I could own water, I'd do that too, but hey, we're in drought street in San Diego. The obvious place to put solar power is on the roof, but I have a few hassles there. One is I have an old shake roof. Two, it's a pretty well controlled neighborhood in terms of what's allowed and what's not allowed. And even though California law prevents them from uh, stopping me from adding solar power, didn't really want to upset the neighborhood. Fortunately, I have another option. A backyard. So I found out of shade. I have enough space over on this side. It's as far away from the shade as I can get. Can pull back some of these trees, get rid of them. So Carl's and Solo are gonna be doing the installation work. Okay, so Wendy's my sales rep here. She's gonna take some solar measurements, see what kind of yield I'm gonna get out of this system. This is a solar metric eye which actually measures the incident radiation and figures out what it's going to do over the course of the year. You're going to have a little shading in the morning before 9 o'clock mm -hmm. and then after around 3 o'clock. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hours of full sun. So your average is 90%. The first step in the process is to get rid of some of these trees. Guess that's how it's done. Some of the other residents of the property aren't all that happy about the uh, noise. We cut all these down, giving ourselves some light. The last tree. The work is done. You can see the sky. The residents are out. Laying out where all the drilling has to come. Nine holes where the drilling is going to be. They've got to do this in all four corners. Get the average over the year. And that's what factors into the rebate. No, so I'll mark the conduit down here, yeah. conduit route. Installation day. The whole thing here. Yeah, some of the plans. Uh, they're going to dig some 20 inch deep holes, meet local code requirements. The first hole going in. These guys are making short work out of my boulder strewn landscape. There's some pretty big boulders in this yard. Lots of digging. They even needs a little jackhammering. He's tiring work up there. Some of the stuff these guys had to dig through. Some pretty deep holes. They're ready to go for the uh, concrete. We're at the end of day one now. Holes mostly drilled. Day two, we're back at it. Fueled by donuts. Digging the remaining uh, three holes. End of day two. After lots of drilling and jackhammering. Once they're okay, can be filled with concrete. Day three. I think it's right there, isn't it? That's the inspector is, uh, is done. The concrete is churning. Way through day three, the concrete is in and setting, and all the bags are gone. Trenching starting up here. I oh, gotta do all this by hand, huh? Yeah. Couldn't get the machine down in here. There's the inverter box. Here we go up. DC cable. Is there a carrot there? Or is it... 
Yeah, that's fine. That'll be great. Inverter and a disconnect box are in place. I've got the conduit in run already. I guess I'll take it down, drop it down somewhere along the side of here. Day four, and the panels have arrived. Out there are the panels. So now the racking for the panels is going into place. Right, there's the panel. First panel's on. It's all happening pretty quickly now, after all that prep work. Putting all the wiring. One of them didn't make it. The last one in that corner we'll get tomorrow morning. A5 trenching. Channel across to there. We're getting there. Tough going in this terrain. But still have some more to do tomorrow. Place definitely looks like a construction zone here. All this dirt. Get the last panel installed. End of day five. All the panels are in place, all 20 of them. Day seven. The conduits for the cabling. So they've got the breaker box in there. I need a little bit more trenching to get the required 18 inches. End of day seven. It's like the conduit has been laid. Day eight, putting the finishing touches. Cleaned up a lot of the wiring, trimming off the edges, trim back. Day 10, waiting for the uh, inspector to come by. All right, we have the inspection. We got the okay. Final sign off there, right? Yep, right there. Great. Now the difficult bit, paying for it all. Well, he's paying the balance. Day 11. Hopefully time to move all the dirt back. Bring the place back to some level of normality. And that, with the exception of the SDG and E, review and turn on will be it. Halfway through day 11 and we are done. Dirt's been filled in. Just waiting for stg and &E. Once they get their approval we should have about 4.5 kilowatts of power. Here it is. Four days after the installation is complete. I salesperson and we're ready to turn the system on. But it's cloudy. Isn't that typical? First we gotta switch on the breakers. Next we turn the disconnect. And then throw the big switch. And finally we throw the switch and it's on. There she goes, spinning backwards. So we now have a fully functional power generation system in my house. All we need now is the sun.